it's really becoming like a punchline to a joke joke now regarding Kevin Stefanski and the job he has done this season regarding being the head coach of the Cleveland Browns has been nothing short but phenomenal. And, and this is not even my opinion. I would like to think most people would agree with me on that. The Browns are 8-5. and five. Currently, the fifth seed in the AFC playoff picture. And they have been without Nick Chubb, who is perhaps the best running back in the game. They lost Nick Chubb the second second game of the season to the Pittsburgh Steelers, right? When Nick Chubb went down with his season in knee injury, everybody was like, oh, okay. Oh, the Browns might be done. Oh, the season might be over. Oh, man, what are they going to do now? Who are they going to, where are they going to find a running back that can give them that type of production that can be the playmaker Nick Chubb has been for the, for the past some odd years for the Browns? How are they going to be able to find a guy who can get five yards to carry, who averages five yards to carry, who runs like a tank, who is just that type of running back, that type of elite running back. How the how in the world are they going to re- be able to replace that production? Okay, no problem. The Browns figured it out. Kevin Stefanski and the, and, the, and the rest of the team figured it out, right? Okay. Now we get more devastating news. What three three more games down the road? Deshaun Watson goes down with a season-ending shoulder injury. Okay, now the Browns are done. Oh, how in the world are they going to overcome this? They have lost their franchise quarterback. And they have lost Deshaun Watson right at a time where it looks like he was about to recapture some of that elite quarterback play that he established three years ago, right? Okay. Again, Kevin Stefanski and the team figured it out with Kevin Stefanski leading the way. They figured it out from the head coaching positions and so forth, right? They figured it out with Kevin Stefanski again leading the way. So now we get to today, and now I'm hearing people still calling for this man's head, still calling for him to be fired, still want this dude to get a pink slip and so forth. I'm even hearing worse, worse, I'm sorry, I'm even hearing worse, or should I say not worse, I'm even hearing worse as far as in people are like, and it, this is how it's coming off to me, could be wrong, I might be taking this the wrong way, but it just it just seems to me that nobody wants to get Kevin Stefanski the credit he deserves, the phenomenal job he has done this season with the Browns. To have the Browns at eight and five, without two of your uh, major offensive powerhouses, period. Without two of your major offensive powerhouses in Nick Chubb and Deshaun Watson, and yet the Browns are still eight and five and currently fifth seed in the AFC playoff picture. Imagine if Deshaun Watson and Nick Chubb was healthy. Imagine that. Where would the Browns be now? The number one seed. Yeah, I'm going to go on record and say it. The Browns would be number one seed. They probably, let's see here, eight and five. I would like to say, let me give it, okay. Let's say the Browns would be about 12 and three right about now. Maybe, maybe 11 and four. But I like to think, it would even be three more wins or four more wins for the Browns. Instead of them being eight and five, it would be either eleven and four or twelve and three, if that makes sense. 